Well, this particular teacher, this is the music teacher that I'm talking about. Um, it's, a, it's a particular incident that happened sometime last year, the whole of last year. My daughter came home and she said that um, this teacher actually on one incident took his finger and poked her in the stomach and, and told her that she was fat and that she needs to exercise. And, and there's been other incidents, you know, there have been other incidents where they, where she was in the classroom, he would, you know, he, after he poked her uh, with a poker in her stomach, he would laugh and point at her. Parent of two and pastor of the Living World Center, the Church of God of Prophecy, Monique Harvey, said her battle against what she deems as injustice at the Ianthi Pratt Primary School is one that she is continuously fighting and has yet to receive a favorable response. The incident, which Harvey reflected earlier, is confirmed to have happened to her daughter, who was eight years old at that time. In a fax letter sent to Permanent Secretary for Education Beatrice Fulford and Deputy Director of Education Edgar Howell on Monday, Harvey said that the Jamaican teacher's outright abuse has been reported to her by her daughter for one full year, and he, quote, doesn't even get a slap on the wrist and is allowed to return to school and continue to be a nuisance, end quote. And she would tell me of these incidences, and I would try to comfort her and console her and tell her things, you know, to, to, to you know, counteract what has been said you know, and um, try to build up her esteem once again because that can be, that can, that can really hit a blow to a child and, 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 and lower their esteem about themselves. And, and so that's my concern. Harvey said that she has now turned to the media to get the attention of the Department of Education and His Excellency the Governor Gordon Weatherall after sending unanswered pleads to the acting principal of the school Beatrice Garland, the Governor, Deputy Director of Education, former Minister of Education, the Zone Officer and the Music Teacher in question. The irate mother said that she's not satisfied, as the music teacher has also allegedly refused to distribute her daughter's assignments and work results with constant excuses when she requested them. He gave a fake apology, and in his defense, he said, um, based on where he, where he, where he's from, um, that's culture, you know. He's been to the Bahamas, he's been around the Caribbean, and he noticed that things are different this way than it is back home and everything. And to him, that's culture, and he doesn't see, you know, anything wrong with it. But if that's how I feel about it, and he had this smug grin on his face, then he said that he apologized. I told him I didn't think that he was really, really sorry about it. Harvey, a stay-at-home mother, also claimed that her 11-year-old son has also been placed in an unfair predicament after administrators of the school allegedly stripped him of the head boy position for no apparent reason. Sources at the Ianthi Pratt Primary School said that the position is not only based on academics but also on factors such as involvement in extracurricular activities and attendance. Even since or after the, the first grade, he's been in the top two ever since, you know, and you, you're going to tell me at the end of the day and at the, when it's time for him to get what he so rightly deserved that it's based on something else and not academics, you know, the, that's, that's pretty much changing the definition of what what I, you know, thought I had boy was, was all about. News 4 contacted acting principal of the school, Beatrice Garland, who wished not to comment on the matter at this time. Deputy Director of Education Edgar Howell said that he would have to consult his superior, P.S. of Education Fulford, before commenting. And Fulford, when contacted, said that the matter is being looked into. Beatrice Fulford went on to say that she has been very cooperative with Harvey as just last week they had a 30-minute phone conversation and advised her to speak to Edgar Howell. For WIV4 News, I'm Nikira John.